Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a fall maroon gold makeup tutorial and I'm going to be using the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. I know this has been out for a while, but I mean, why not still make videos and tutorials off of products people would have bought, you know? I mean, you buy it, you don't just use it once. So I am going to use this palette to make that look. So if you wanna see how we create this, then just keep watching. I'm thinking I want to use, there's a maroon color in here and I can't get this open. So there's a color in here called Calabasas right here that I really wanna use. And then I really wanna use the Millions Gold. It's like a glitter. So let's just jump into this. I'm not sure where I'm going with this. I'm just gonna play around, see what happens. I know I wanna use those two shades. So. Let's get into this. The first shade I think I'm going to go in with is... Alright, I'm going to go in with Channel, which is right here. It's just like a warm brown. And I'm going to use that for my beginning transition shade. And I'm going to use the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush. It's just a nice fluffy blender brush. So while I do that, let me just update a little bit. So I haven't posted anything since, oh my gosh, how long has it been? All right, it's been a month, I don't know. The last thing I posted on Instagram was September 18th, so I'm assuming it was September 18th. Normally I post my Instagram picture about my video going out, so yeah. It's been over a month, it's October 19th right now when I'm filming this. So I have been gone for a month and why is this coming orange like it's coming like almost peachy do you see that that is not what the shade looks like in the palette but it is what it looks like on my okay we're gonna switch it up <laughs> i'm gonna actually go into mr diva instead because i don't like that that color is coming off peachy on me anyways so i've been gone for a month and i just it's funny though because I've, I haven't filmed in longer than that because I normally film and then those videos are posted and, and for the next week or anyways. So basically, I got married September 29th, 29th, wow, September 21st and yeah, leading up to that was, I wouldn't say it was stressful, but it was more just that I tried, I wanted to make sure I had everything. I wanted to make sure, cause it was a destination so I was traveling. So I wanted to make sure I packed everything, made a million and 10 stupid checklists to make sure I didn't forget stuff. And I didn't forget anything, thank God. So yeah. So I kinda, I didn't film leading up to it cause I was too worried about the wedding instead of YouTube and couldn't, didn't, couldn't focus on both. And then, like I said, September 21st is when we had the wedding. Um, we were there for a week. So I went there on a Thursday. Wedding was Saturday. Stayed until the next Thursday. So that happened. And then we got back and it was like trying to get life back to normal was a pain. And it didn't help that I work in the accounting world. So October is a quarter month. So work was crazy to come back to. And um, I purposely planned my wedding to be in September because it wasn't a quarter month. And when you live the life, you live the life and you know quarter months are months you can't do anything. <laughs> um, so as far as like taking work off, it would be a pain. Anyways, so I'm just now finally catching up to where I feel like I can breathe so that's why I'm now finally like okay let me get back to YouTube um real quick let's move on so now let's take the maroon shade the Calabasas shade that I showed you I'll show it again though this one and I'm going to use the Morphe M506 brush it's just this really tiny small blender brush like here's the difference of the first brush I used Oh, and I'm going to put it in the crease and just because it's a darker color is why I'm using smaller is just so I'm not as sloppy as normal. 
but honestly I'm still gonna be sloppy anyways so I wanted to get back to YouTube because I don't want to quit YouTube I really enjoy playing with makeup I really enjoy buying makeup and I need an excuse to buy it um so yeah we're back I'm trying to figure out how to make my videos better um, so if you have any suggestions let me know I want to start trying to do like different I don't know inserts obviously background we'll get there it just for me it's more comfortable to sit here at my vanity I'm currently at my vanity where I get ready every morning and so there's not a nice background <laughs> But I know that's it's more appealing to look at something that's got a pretty background even though you shouldn't be focusing on it if you're watching a tutorial. But obviously you can't help it. I do it all the time with other people so I get it. So that's probably the first thing I should fix and do. Um, I just, I want to take this more serious as a career because I'm miserable. <laughs> It sounds so bad to say, but work life, I don't enjoy what I do. Um, I, it's complicated because I work for my mom. So it's complicated in the fact that it's not that I necessarily hate what I do. Like I'm not at a normal corporate job and where I have people tell me what to do and, you know, and dictating this and that and this and that. I don't because I work for my mom. So, um that part of it I really enjoy because I worked the corporate world hate the corporate world really hate the point system oh don't get me started on the point system <laughs> I've lost a job because of the damn point system but anyways so that I'm not miserable in that sense it makes it a lot nicer and to go to work every day but then again it is family and so I feel like I do more than a typical employee would do because it's easier to tell your daughter or your family member hey go can you do this do this do this do this let me pile this on you then be like hey do you mind if you do you know to an employee it's it just it's a comfort level and I get it and I get why it happens it's just frustrating by the way I've been putting that in the outer V sorry I'm going to put it about halfway on the lid because I only want the gold to be this section maybe I should stop talking and pack on some more or this is gonna be a long video anyways um so back to YouTube that is the main reason I want to grow it um, and take it more serious as a business side because one, I do enjoy playing with makeup. I do enjoy buying makeup. And honestly, I feel like I enjoy testing new products more than I enjoy the creative part of this. Like, I still like this, but I have a weird obsession with <laughs> trying new makeup. So, that is something I really want to do. I just don't want to do as many reviews on products as I have been before, only because it gets expensive. Let me tell you, okay, it's October and I've already hit diamond status at Adalta. Diamond. Do you know what diamond is? It's $1,200 in a year. That's just Alta. <laughs> okay, there's also Sephora. Eh? Anyways, so I don't want to do as many because it is getting really expensive. Granted, it's not going to stop me from buying products, but maybe it'll cut it down a little bit. Um, anyways, back to what I was talking about. So, YouTube, though, confuses the heck out of me, okay? Let me explain this. So, I am randomly consistent and randomly not, and I get it. Uh, like I said, wasn't really taking it that serious. Um, so... The times that I'm consistent, my channel does grow. It does grow at a snail's pace, <laughs> but it does grow. Um, there's also times, though, that I notice if I'm not consistent, consistent, but I'm still fairly consistent, meaning I'm maybe not doing two to three times a week, but I'm doing at least maybe one a week. 
for some reason, I either stay the exact same within like people subscribing and unsubscribing the same amount of people or I'm just flat out losing and I'm like okay no problem why though like I'm just curious why you know and more from like the business stand side of this industry I just want to know you know how can I improve but what makes me what <sighs> How do I say it? What irks me, basically, is why is it that I take a month off and I gain 15? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful. Thanks for being here. But why? <laughs> I'm just so confused. And it's not, it's not subscribers, it's not followers, it's not you guys. It's YouTube. Like, what, what's going on? How is it that when I post videos, then those are getting out there? And, you know, obviously they're either having a positive or a negative effect, but they're still getting out there. But then when, or not getting out there very often, let me rephrase that, they're not getting out there. But then when I don't post anything, somehow my channel and my videos are getting out there. That makes no sense to me. These are my thoughts. Just thought I'd share them. Um, there's no additional product on this, I'm just using it to blend everything. I'm going to take the brown in this palette, the dark brown, it's called Hi Dude, right here, and we're going to take it on an even smaller brush. Alright, we're going to try it with this brush. This is a Morphe E18, and I'm just going to put that in the outer V just to start darkening it a little bit more. I want more dimension than it has, so, so I'm going to put a little bit in my crease and then I'm going to take the other small brush that is using to blend it better just because I don't have a smaller brush than this that's as fluffy this one's a little too stiff so I'm just using it to apply the product but then blending it out with the other brush that's fluffy I'm gonna go in with the shade Lynn right here which is pretty much my skin tone and I'm just gonna use that to clean up the edges because they got out of control Oh, I grabbed the wrong shade. Um, this is just an IT Cosmetics brush. It's the 322. I got this as a birthday Christmas gift from Mike. Probably never would have bought a brush this expensive. But it's really nice. So I like doing that when I kind of like got a little bit outside of the shape I'd like. It just kind of helps clean it up. I'm thinking of putting down like a gold shade first and then maybe tapping the glitter on top of it. Let's try that. So I'm not going to cut the crease because I don't feel like it. Even though it'd probably look better. But you know, yellow. So let's go in. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty on its own. So let's go in with designer label is what it's called. It's the gold right Ooh, here and I'm gonna use another Morphe Shocker Shocker M124 and we're just going to pat that on the lid now we're gonna do the gold shade the millions I showed you which I'll do it again right here so it is glitter how, let's see how well it stays if I put it on my hand. Oh, yeah. We're going to need glitter glue. I don't even know if my glitter glue is good. All right. So I have the NYX glitter primer. So we're going to attempt to use this. And I'm going to take the Morphe M421 brush. So I'm going to put the glitter glue on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to use this brush to apply it on top of the gold I just put down. And then I'm going to flip the brush and use the other side. No. We're going to use my finger because that didn't work. And just press it in. Oh, beach. Alright. Now I'm going to like lightly tap it on the other side just to blend because it's a pretty stark line and that's not working.
working very well. All right, I'm gonna really quickly do it on the other side and then we'll come back and figure out how to blend. Well, this is fun. All right, I'm gonna try to use the brush and pick up some because I need it more on the inner corner on both sides because, you know, got long nails. I couldn't get it in there. Okay. And then I'm just going to try to use the brush to apply some on the outer V just to kind of get a better gradient. Oh, that worked. Cool. Let's just move on to the bottom. So for the bottom, I'm going to take... Why do I feel like I see glitter everywhere? <laughs> Hold. Alright, I'm going to take this a definer brush. Any definer brush, actually. I'm gonna do this one. This is the Morphe M432 because it's a little thicker. And I'm gonna take that brown shade, hi dude, and put that right along the waterline. I'm gonna take it all the way in, yeah. I'm going to go in with the same brush I used earlier with the red shade or the maroon shade. And I'm going to use that again with the maroon shade, the Calabasas. And I'm going to use that to buff out this brown on the bottom and match it up with the top of my, or with the shade on the, my top lid. Jeez. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40, which is basically the same brush that I was using earlier, which is the M506. And I'm going to take the Mr. Diva shade, that medium brown, or the first shade I used, to just blend out the edges. I'm basically doing the same thing I did at the top to the bottom, minus the glitter. It'll help soften these edges too. Now, I feel like we need a highlighter. Was this gold enough? Yeah. Okay, I got the... ColourPop Cinderella, I got one of the sets of the collection, so this is, is that the, what this is called? The Dream is the Wish Your Heart Makes? Maybe that's, it's the Cinderella Bundle. Ah. And I'm going to use the highlighter. I used that on my cheeks today, so I'm actually going to use the highlighter for my inner corner and my brow bone. It's called Horse and Carriage. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. And I'm going to use a Crown C 513 brush to apply it in the inner corner. See what a difference that makes? <laughs> oh, just if you're curious, this collection also came with a liquid lipstick, a luxe liquid lipstick in the shade Prince Charming. Let me just show you what it looks like, just so. I don't know if I like that formula. This is what that color looks like, just if you're curious. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, do my lashes and lips off camera, and then I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and did my lashes and lips off camera. Lashes is Roller Lash, if you're curious. Lips is ColourPop, Lippy Stick, and Daydream. Uh, application sucked, but we're gonna ignore that. So yeah, this is the final look. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.